we're gonna start a vlog? I mean, yeah, we're gonna start a vlog! Here's the deal. Before we go any further with this first vlog, let me get a couple things on the table. A, this is kind of impromptu. This is a plan that we came up with after I left Camp Shiner and kind of as Big Titty was leaving the country to go on his cruise. So, I gotta admit a couple things. A, I don't have all the lighting with me that I should have. Like, I don't have a key light, so I'm gonna make do with what we have around here. Also, I don't have an external mic with me. All of them are with Titty. He's got all the audio equipment with him. So I'm basically using whatever microphone and whatever audio I can get off of my iPhone and off the DSLR when I use it. So you guys, it's not like we think this is gonna be the best audio of a vlog ever. I don't need comments about it. I don't need hearing about how, well your audio sounds all amateur. I know, but we're gonna make do man. That's what you do. Adapt, you overcome, and you get stuff done. If we got an idea, we're gonna run with it. So we don't have all the stuff. Still gonna be a good time. So you guys, please, just excuse the audio, just excuse the lighting. Now, back to regular scheduled programs. Big Titty and I were talking, truth of the matter is, there's just not enough content on this channel. So, we put our domes together, started talking it out, hashing it out, brainstorming, spitballing, whatever you want to call it. We decided we're going to start posting some content on here, show you guys how we make some of the dishes that we come up with. I post a lot of pictures on my personal Instagram page. I get DMs out the ass every time I do it. Want to know how I came up with the idea, what I used to make it, and how difficult it was. A little bit of effort, you can pull it off. So what I did was, I went down, I grabbed a slab of pork spare ribs, about six pounds. We're gonna throw that on the grill. I'm gonna show you how I come up with what we come up with. And we're gonna make something that'll blow your doors off. You guys, buckle up, come along with me. Let's get down with some culinary chaos, what do you say? Huh? Come on, let's get it. So, like I said, six pounds, we, uh, we got these babies thawed out. They were frozen solid. I mean, they were frozen solid as a rock. Left them out on the counter for a while, put them in the refrigerator overnight. It's time to season these babies up. Let's make the magic happen. What do you say? Come along. All right, so it's pretty easy deal from here. I got some foil out. I'm gonna just uh, wrap these up in foil overnight, stick them in the refrigerator before I smoke them in the morning. So um, that's basically why I got the foil out here. It doesn't have any kind of secret meaning or anything. I got these bone side up and I'm just gonna start seasoning these things. It's all about how you wanna do it. There's no magic number. I've seen people say, oh, I saw a recipe that talked about three tablespoons of rub. It's just about how you want it, all right? So I like stuff to have a whole lot of flavor, so I go pretty heavy on it. You know, and that's another thing is, this stuff says, you know, um, rub on it, habanero rub. I think that's kind of deceiving. I read, a, I read an article a couple years ago, probably longer than that, that talked about you don't really rub the meat once you get this stuff coated on there. I explained how it breaks down the proteins and does this and that to it. It made a lot of sense to me at the time. I don't know how much truth there is to it, so I'm not gonna validate it or call it bullshit either one, but that's how I do it. So I just liberally, is that a word? Liberally, see I, I can't even, uh, I, almost, I almost started offending people with a joke there. Um, I just liberally, I said it again, liberally get these things seasoned up and I do the bone side up 
first, just because it makes it easier when it comes to putting it on the grill. And then I get the other side real good. So let's get these babies seasoned up. all night long just sitting in all that rub that I put on last evening so what we're gonna do is god these look good okay so the way we're gonna cook these is a three two one method right don't start with the common smoking meat ribs whatever you're gonna smoke it's kind of like bourbon it's kind of like cigars everybody thinks that their brand and their way is the best this is the way that I'm doing with these so deal with it. We got the Traeger fired up. It's at 180 degrees. It's smoking away right now. We're gonna go three hours. These ribs are going on there bone side down. Then I'm gonna pull them. We're gonna wrap them back up in foil, throw them on there at 225 for two hours. Once that's done, I'm gonna pull them off again, unwrap the foil off of them, and stick them back on the smoker for one more hour. After that, we're gonna cut into these bad boys. We're gonna get down with them, and guess what? you are gonna thank me for learning how to do ribs this way. I promise, and you'll make your mama proud. Boom. one method on how to do ribs. It doesn't get much easier than that. I will say, I think the fact that I'm using a Traeger to do them on, it kind of sends them to the next level. I have a conventional smoker at Camp Shiner. I've done them on there for years. I've made some really good racks of ribs on that smoker. I probably haven't made any that are as good as the ones that come off that Traeger. So I'm saying, if you, and Traeger pays me no money. Zero dollars are coming from Traeger. I just love the product. I love what it does when I smoke meat. It's kind of like the epitome of smokers, if you ask me. So, 
that's how you do it. Thanks for joining us. This is gonna be the first of many installments of a vlog we're gonna do on this channel. You guys get out there, put your, put your skills to the test, man. Try to up your game. And when you do it, take some photos, take some video. It doesn't have to be professional looking. It doesn't have to be that great, really. You guys, get, get it out there. Tag me in it, Hellraiser46 on Instagram, tag 420Eats, DM it to us. Let me see what you're doing, all right? You guys, get out there. Enjoy it, man, make the most out of it. While you're at it, smash the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified when we post new content, all right? Make that happen. You guys get out there, kick the day in the ass, and leave your mark on the world. Shiner.